Uh, pull, pull, coin dragon. Smash. Yeah. Okay. I, I love that so much. That's so lovely. <laughs> it's most certainly been far too long since I've done a custom. Right now I have a setup. I have four starting orbs, three starting passives. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ambi, it seems really good. Although super was very tempting. And yeah, it's been too long since I've done repostal service, so I just want to do uh, do another repostal service run. Cause they're always just super fun. Generating damage from enemies trying to achieve their game plan is just exactly what I want to be doing. Uh, Ambi to just get through this trash in our deck is really quite helpful. As long as we get offered a full vocation and can buy it, I'm happy. I really don't want to have to pass on a full vocation if I see it because I distinctly recall being forced to remove one from my deck last time, which wasn't the most fun. 295 damage. You would love it. Now, this passive, this this uh, run is going to showcase this passive as a very different version of what it usually is. It's going to look like a real passive. <laughs> most of the time, you're just not going to get like any use out of it. 38 gold is actually a pretty decent amount. We're probably not going to get to go well, well, well. Unicorn's nice for boss passes, but I don't particularly require heavy hand. Doesn't change the numbers on uh, what's it called, unfortunately. This is... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. We have to melt through... Lit I wonder how much... how high he was gonna go. We have to melt through every single one, so... That is interesting. I've never actually had to do this before. Sure, I'm getting some damage on the tree, but it's pretty minuscule. And any mob that tries to get close to me is just going to get instantly smited. 730 damage. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Yeah, this does have the unfortunate side effect of I will be spawning two or three rainbow slimes, and I actually won't be able to kill them. Oh well. Alright, what's the worst you can throw at me? I tell you, I'm gonna throw much more back. 1200 damage. Yeah, that seems pretty normal, right? It's exactly the kind of damage I'm expecting myself to do. Uh, you'll notice I didn't start off with whenever your board is. Uh, whenever she was destroyed, game for board. I didn't think it was necessary. And I'd say it's. It feels worse than essential oil. It's probably not worse than essential oil. I don't care. I like essential oil. Though I took it. They're, they're simply going to get to 2%, right? Not more than that, though. I mean, 2 is actually a pretty big threat on these small green guys, but uh, it doesn't really matter that much. 118, I'm going to be. Not good doing double shot for obvious reasons. I do not have the cash for double shot. I find it hilarious that it's a uh, tree fight that lasted that long, and yet I completely ignored the slimes. Orb is very decent. I don't expect to get any use out of it at all, but it's a very decent passive to pick up. Yeah, okay, 67 shield. That is most certainly enough for this entire combat. Oh, look how good that shot was. There's two more dead. I think this shot should be pretty solid. Yep, pretty solid. Unfortunate. Oh, I'm not... I don't think I can hide coins, right? Because I hit the pig to transform it. So surely I can't hide coins. There's a chance that I might be hiding coins though, which would be unfortunate. Oh, I am hiding coins. Great. Good news is it doesn't really matter. Cool, cool, cool. The fresher course. Normally that would be pretty cool. 
uh, it actually will very much matter if I get a specific Area 2 boss. Because let me tell you, one of them is going to be pretty nasty and the other one's not going to be the most fun, but I think we should still be able to handle some infection. The problem is it does bypass shield and they have... they're not attacking me every turn. Crossbow should be completely fine though. In Dingwall, I really don't want to have to deal with Dingwall. That'd be a pretty nasty way for this run to end. Because if I need a beat, if I want to find Dingwall, I need a like massive circle scaling source. Which is not too easy to find if I don't find... Uh, I don't know which one it is, either training tablet or added advantage. Since they both represent half of Baldroid. And I really just... Oh god, I, I would take a guess on which one I think it is. It's surely Training Tablet. I think Training Tablet is the one we want. We'll see if I'm right later or not. An extra part. Cool. Wow. I mean, that, that would have actually been a really good first two shots for a normal fight. This just wasn't exactly a normal fight. We don't need them yet, but the upgrades on fortification are extremely, extremely nice for us to get. 5 to 3 is a pretty big deal. Yeah. Although I really don't need it, do I? <laughs> 205, so we're definitely not as stacked as I would like to be. That's not full passives, unfortunately. But wow, these are really impressive options, shall we say? Really quite impressive. I mean, I, sure, I could get PS, but no. If I'm going to win, I don't think it's going to be with crit stuff. Even if I fight... Uh, what's his name? Yuck. I was hoping for more. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Bye. Oh, that's so nice to see as well, because pingers are usually just so annoying to deal with. Actually, just the worst. I must admit, I have been very much enjoying this envy. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, 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 that just somehow hit all of the bombs possible. Oh, would you look at that? There is zero chance I'm not just adding that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sliming Crucible 20 is so good for me. <laughs> oh, yuck. Um, yeah, actually, I'll just be skipping this fight. But Sliming Crucible 20 is amazing for me. He's going to be launching two projectile attacks every turn. And meanwhile, I'm just going to be smacking him for infinity damage thanks to a personal service. Perfect last few shots to finish out the map, eh? Having enemies revenge kill himself on me. Uh, crit's also refresh. We have a positive crit comp. So I believe I managed to collect all of the coins on the map. Can't fully tell though because of those <laughs> shield pegs there. Can we get a good fortification first shot, please? It was mediocre. And yet he's still on 875 health already. Seems solid. My fortifications are pretty badly set up, but maybe it won't matter too much. Kind of matters. 329 health already, by the way. I love how I just haven't needed to heal as well. Like, I took that hit from the event, and it just hasn't mattered. Oh, you That was incredibly, incredibly fast. I'm not complaining. We have Constricting Chains Electro-Pregnant. I think I'll just take Constricting Chains, that certainly sounds like a good idea. So, did we get lucky? We we got reasonably lucky, but not insanely lucky. Crossbow would have definitely been the greatest there. That's a left into a... Uh... Yes. Why does the second left have to look so disappointing? Like, I would absolutely love to be taking that second left, but it's just not possible. Um, yeah, no, I'm in now positive crit comp. I'm just straight up doing it. More refreshes on the board is a really good thing, so yeah, I'm a positive crit comp. Let's try and find that special button again. Can I fit crits? Uh, what's the double crit passive? 
penny? Oh yeah, lucky penny. Oh, just collect them all. Oh, why not? After all, it's not like I've really hit anything uh, in the circle base, so I can just do that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess I do need to be kind of worried about navigation. Left is very much not forced here. Did you just kill him? Oops. Wow, you're gonna have some nice skill. On the land? That's crazy. Sure, sure. A whole nother opponent for me to deal with. How terrifying. Whatever will I do? Yeah, so if I'm doing double shop, in theory I shouldn't be... God. It's so tempting to just not do double shop, but I think I will. Like, even just picking up a special button is pretty fine. And, to be honest, I'm very likely to find either a special button or a fresh bandana, and both of them have the same effect. Well, one of them... Honestly, crits are a positive effect for me at the moment. It's kind of sad to say, but my normal damage just doesn't matter. It just doesn't. I would love it to, but yeah, that's not the case. Oh, look. This left hand thing is on a. Okay. So this one looks a bit hard. Honestly, we may not even make it to the shop. If we don't make it to the shop there, then. Uh, I will try and upgrade in those question marks. The good news is this treasure map, uh, this treasure chest is definitely forced navigation. I will just be going left, yeah? Peckle and Arrows is meant to be fine, but it's not really doing much. I don't care for it. Um, yeah, it's just not worth it. For obvious reasons. A whole nother pebble, okay, cool. Well, he's just going to instantly envelope, I believe. Yep. I didn't actually see what the number was there. It may have been pretty close. Didn't have that much shield. Sometimes five. Hey, what? Reasonably close, I guess. Yeah, this one though should be miles off. Yep. Oh, what? You missed both the crit and the refresh. I was going to say that's a bit crazy. 7 shit, wait. Oh god, that's disgusting. Watching a fortification crit and pierce and kill enemies because it has all go attached, like... That's not what I expect fortification to be doing. Like, fortification in a crit com, that's... Okay. <laughs> oh, did we lose health? No. Nah. Oh, 67 spine shield. Yeah, no, we didn't lose health. That's, uh... Pretty impressive. Like I said, Bullbean Hammer is just... A much, much, much nicer passive than uh, destroyed equals four shield. Turns out that creating is just so much easier to achieve than destroying. Mainly because if you need to destroy something, you have to create it first. And yet they're both the same rarity. I honestly feel like uh, destroy four could be a rarity law. Like destroy equals three bulk or something. A rarity lol. Sounds good enough to me. And shield comp is pretty specific anyway. I doubt we'll kill Rainbow Slime, but we actually do have a chance because our damage output has been impressing me. When I say our damage output, I mean us hitting the crit. It's just. Uh, yeah. We See ya. As my yeah, well, there's the. I'm definitely just taking joy though. Knuckles is amazing, but this is a joy moment. Ow. So we need how much? 500 bullwork. Oh, because we just picked up mask, that's much more doable, I'd say. But it's still a very large amount, which it looks like we're actually going to just get to. I mean, this deck's up is horrendous. This is why I want more removes in my deck and more fortifications in my deck. So I just want the odds for this to, to decrease. Although it looks like I only need much less now. I need 400 bullets instead. Although actually, I only really need 300 bullets before he's just guaranteed dead. Because I can tank a few hits. And yet, yeah, will decrease my damage output, but it doesn't really matter. Somehow I missed both the crit and the refresh, despite the fact that I fired straight at the both of them. Oh. I did the same thing again. 
and just decided to completely miss it. Yeah, okay. I wasn't really trying that time. Since it doesn't matter. Oh, so close to a one shot, damn. I've gotten one more good shot in. Probably would have had it. Still, a free elite there is actually pretty epic. As I said, I actually am going to take down for crits on a Belen run, which is extremely silly, but I've somehow just hit so many uh, crit synergy things that it is just worth it at this point. Obviously, later it's going to, going to become much, much worse. I'm going to re regret having picked it up. But that moment is not now. I'll set my cash for the next store. I don't know what it's got for me. That is pretty exceptional. Circle gain two bork. Sure. Because the thing is, it's not just two bork. Which makes it sound pretty good. It's probably an extra 3-4 cash per combat, which gives me... It should pay itself off. Man, the cut for crits I think is actually super nice for us. And like, sure. We now actually have some very decent circle, but still. Mostly because Mask of Joy. And we have one starting. You're just dead very fast, aren't you? And these paintings are going to murder themselves very soon. Ah, you're not hitting pigs, so you're not transforming anything. It's unfortunate, but I already have a 243 shield stockpile, which is proving more than enough to deal with this one. 1,475 damage. I don't think the painting saw that one coming. Leaves the rest for later when we have... Me. Like, it's really not that impressive because we have so many refresh sources. But I think we just take that. We don't need to leave this run. I think it would normally be solid in a normal run, but this isn't exactly a normal run. Damn, I didn't just get the one shot. That's so well, oh, that actually just cool. Cool, what? Potentially triple shop. That would be much more nice, except you know, this is Crucible 20, and you just can't buy anything on Crucible 20. Like, because I had such a stacked deck early on, I could afford to not do upgrades, but I really should have been doing upgrades for Crucible 20. To the point where I may just skip a whole bunch. That is really weird to see. This is. A very, very terrifying alight, uh, a fight, like to the point where I would consider this to be an elite fight. <laughs> Which I, I've, as I've said, I normally do consider this fight to be an elite fight, but if you ran in one of these guys, you're just burning so much here. Obviously we have an amazing setup, so we're not actually going to burn anything. But still, it's besides the point, this fight would be incredibly, incredibly hard in a normal run. It's just dude, a normal run. It's always fun to branch out and try something that you don't get to do very often. And a custom run with this level of setup is uh, pretty hard to pull off in a normal run. Pretty hard. Especially actually finding the bloody fortifications. It's like, sure, you can... Uh, okay, this is that shot. You can find yourself uh, the shield comp stuff. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you will even find like the repository service. We're actually finding like the uh, fortifications instead of the uh, chopping box. Like there's a massive difference between the two because chopping box just sucks. See ya. I love how he just disappears. Just put there. Nice revenge damage. That, my friend, is a lot of passives. We're probably going to eat the black hole here, which means random navigation, so hopefully we get lucky and we don't get to go the way we want. But at least we get to fight Mole. Let's try and uh, kill Mole 10 1. 200 Borg, 100% make sure of that. So nice. We did well. Bomb. <laughs> Instantly collapses. Coin Dragon. Oh, poor Coin Dragon. And he has a multi tap, like. Yeah, I do feel kind of bad for him, honestly. I always feel bad for Coin Dragon. I mean, he really is just a joke of a boss. <laughs> uh, I'm still spamming upgrades, but maybe the shop actually matters. I mostly picked that just because of the uh, fight spread. There. It's 
two extra ranged enemies and an immediate sap in this fight. That does make it a whole lot more deadly, but obviously for us, a whole lot more deadly doesn't really mean anything. We literally have only lost health from events this uh, entire game. Chip comp's always fun, can't deny that. And I do imagine that I'll do it again sometime soon, because the thing is, I was just like, yeah, I want to do a, cru a uh, crucible custom. And I also wanted it to be a the land run, so I was just like, hmm, what's a good target for this? And you know what's a really fun custom to do on the land? <laughs> so I did it. And like, sure, there are a few other really cool customs you can do on the land. But to be honest, most of the ones that I was thinking of, like, I got them in my recent runs anyway. Like, I didn't actually need to run them in a custom run. So, like, this one is very much one that I feel like you kind of need to force in a custom run if you actually want to hit it. You can otherwise, it's just like, you're probably going to need, like, I have Turtle or something to increase the odds, Orbit Story, that kind of thing. I really do like Orbit Story quite a bit, I'd say. It's just more than 7%, which is nice. Nice. Our deck size is thin enough to the point where we are just consistently shooting our fortifications, which are now mattering quite a lot. Except, you know, we're fighting Coin Dragon, so they just won't matter. That is pretty awesome. Did I miss C? I did. Apparently. Yeah, that with Kinetic and Constricting seems pretty cool for the boss fight, but... Yeah, that's unfortunate. So, oh, this is a really bad map to get immediately. That's annoying. Uh, I just want to kill Coin Dragon on their first multi attack. 18k health is certainly a lot, so I imagine it's going to be pretty tricky, and this map is pretty horrendous as well. Oh, this is actually super annoying. Like, what, you expect me to kill them now? It's almost impossible. Half health? Yeah, okay. Half health. And then now they drop down to... Yeah, that much. Okay, so that was cool. I'm just going to try and get a good map. I want to kill Coin Dragon on the first time. Because, like, we actually have some... Seriously, I get the opposite. This one's probably worse. Because uh, we have some really good momentum stuff going on. We have two orbs being fired. We have connect me right because all of our crits and refreshes are going to be hidden. So despite the fact that we have above average, uh, they're all hidden. So we're getting a lot of value from connect me right. And then house of slime as well is really keeping an uh, them in the air. Yeah, honestly, no way this does it right. No way. How much do I really need for it? Like that, that's a solid, but I, I really would just want to see him get melted shot one. Is that asking for too much? Yeah, so uh, I think Repostal Service is a very fun person, and you can do some very cool stuff with it, like this run. But the problem is you need a really, really good source of shield if you actually want to care about the damage it's dealing. Otherwise, you should just be stacking on the circle like normal, you know? And uh, yeah, unfortunately, if you're stacking on the circle, You'd rather just have the every 10 bulk you gain, gain one the circle. Especially since that stacks so well with so many other blend passives, including one of my absolute favourites. Yeah, this map is much more legit. Unfortunately, our second shot does look like it kind of sucks. But if we can hit that refresh, that would be amazing. Damn, damn, damn. Close. 500 is exceptionally closer than the last time. I think we're heading for like 700 though, aren't we? 700 and 750, I'd say? I, I don't know if it's 4 multi attacks or like 5 multi attacks, that's the big thing. Um, yeah, this should be a solid shot. This map definitely isn't the greatest, but it's actually not bad. I would say that the refreshes on Chris are probably a bit higher than I want them. But it is piercing through this area pretty fast, so maybe not. Like 200 first shot, not bad, I guess. 300 first shot would be pretty amazing. Yeah, what you really want is like power collector. Part of the reason why I rate it so high. 360 first shot. This power collector is really good at generating you extra momentum during your shot, and if you have your boss passive kinetic meteorite. So that it's not giving you any more momentum. 
there and it's uh your, your shots just kind of run out gonna run out like unless you're literally rubble then somehow you just maintain it perfectly constantly it's just gonna run out oh um, we are maintaining this one but there is just a hole here and i expect it to go through there very soon if we could get 600 that would be so much closer i think this is approximately 600 if we had destroyed we would be much much closer but yeah we actually had a bunch of decent stuff this run to have a real run like refresher course cookie we would have had leaf as well power glove uh did we get no so close can i damn i feel like i can really get this i just need like some good shots <laughs> i swear i'll stop doing it soon um okay this looks, this looks decent i like the setup I'm kind of scared of where the secondary refresh will end up with. Because I think we're going to hit this crit and we're going to melt through this side. And then we've got the entire left hand side which is open, which is not the most ideal. I prefer hitting the refresh around 200 board, but it looks like that one was quite solid. There are two open avenues, this is not ideal, especially with this being one of them. Yeah, okay, no, that's just really not ideal, apparently. Yuck. Well, we'll see what we can do. Um, 700 is the aim. 600 was pretty exceptionally close. I think it was like 620. But yeah, this would have been a pretty cool run otherwise. I think we also had Knuckles as well, which would have been amazing. Yeah, I think this would have worked as a run. 809, 610. So basically 650, 660 should do it, for sure. God, surely I can get that, right? That seems so within reach, but um, I would definitely didn't expect it to be this hard to get it. Like, I actually thought I'd get it. But this is past the point of what I'd ever usually try. I, I just really want to see him just get popped in one hit. It would be absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, definitely not the craziest because all of these fortifications are in a row and I have to shoot my level 1 one, which is almost the worst possible setup. Horrible, uh, could change it to the worst possible setup, but almost. Um, we had the Unicorn Horn, didn't actually hit Heavy Hand. It's always fun to pick up Unicorn Horn, just as a preface, like, if I might hit Heavy Hand this run, then Unicorn Horn would be pretty nice here. Like, it's not that crazy of a difference, but it's always handy, because, like, losing your aimer is actually kind of unfortunate, but it's also just extremely, extremely worth it. So why wouldn't it be? Like, hitting each pick twice? There's a reason why Morb is extremely, extremely good. That comes with a pretty heavy downside, although more part of Morbid also makes it kind of an upside, because you can get your massive shots off with it. Uh, so 660 was the number that I said I wanted to aim for. I think that's within reach here, as long as we don't do that. It's really just depending on whether or not both of them go down there now. Surely you hit the crit before going down there. I, I think as long as they hit the crit before going down there, I'm fine. Alright, I finally got it. Great. Ah, uh, poor, poor coin dragon. Yeah, okay. I, I love that so much. That's so lovely. <laughs>